when I first went to Antarctica, my eyes changed colour, our faces got entirely blistered off, the skin ripped off our faces, we didn't know why. When we got home we were told we'd walked under the hole in the ozone there, created by us using CFC gases. Across the years you've been to the Antarctica, how have you witnessed how Antarctica has changed, perhaps for the worse? Every year we go to the Antarctic, we see more and more ice breaking off it. 30 years ago, we reached the North Pole. Now, you cannot walk to the North Pole anymore because there's no ice there. A lot of wildlife has been affected. We've all seen pictures of the poor polar bears because we've melted their home. It's gone. Why would somebody sitting in Singapore care about an issue that's happening to the Antarctic? We know it's happening. So what people need to think is, hang on a minute, the sea level round Singapore is going to rise. Already, your government is building walls to protect this nation from sea level rise. But how high are those walls going to have to be? I think that governments, they do their best, but business have much more impact. This has to be a business strategy. It has to be part of making money, creating jobs. Anybody who's going to survive over the next 50 years in business have to have sustainability, environment, and all of those things has to be a key business driver. One of the biggest problems we face on Earth is the belief that somebody else is going to sort this problem out. That somebody else is you. This generation, they're the last line of defense. They have to be the ones that make the change. They're not complicated, they're simple changes.